Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your June the 23rd Spiritual Principle Day in a Meditation. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing excellent this morning. Okay, let's go ahead and get into that meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. That's recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Okay, here's the meditation for today. Attentiveness to NA's message. That sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Attentiveness to NA's message. Each of us has something to offer. We don't need specialized training to carry the message. All we need to do is pay attention. Powerful. That comes from the Guiding Principles book, Tradition 8, Opening Reflection. We all have something to give in NA, and we don't need to be professionals to do it. There's no NA university where we take classes like Sharing 101, Advanced Sponsorship, or Graduate Level Seminar in Hospitals and Institution Strategy. We learn as we go. Some of us sponsor others following the way we've been sponsored or we improvise. We aren't professional recovering addicts or sponsors or trusted servants. We pay attention to how others do it. And we consult our sponsor and our higher power, attentively listening for what rings true for us. It's the therapeutic value of one addict helping another. Paying attention to our surroundings should come easy for us. In our old lives, situational awareness was necessary for survival. We were always watching our backs, measuring up others and doing what we had to do to get through every hairy situation we found ourselves in. Those same skills can help us read a room. We can see where our help is needed. Are there people sitting alone before the meeting? Greet them. Does the secretary need help passing out the readings? Done. Perhaps most importantly, we pay attention to what is happening in real time as we share with other addicts. We truly listen when others share. Rather than guessing what we think someone might need to hear, we simply listen. When we're moved to do so, we share our relevant experience. When we are present and attentive to the process, we realize we don't need to control things. Humility, prudence, and attentiveness to our own assets and to the needs of those around us help us make better decisions. Since there's no such thing as a professional recovering addict, I'll do my best to carry the message the NA way. I'll do so by being attentive to the needs of NA, especially the still suffering addicts. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, yeah. and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. What a powerful meditation. I love it because really, honestly, to, when it comes down to it, we're just all in this trying to help each other a day at a time, stay clean live to the next day so that we can continue being blessed to have our families and our jobs and our uh, dreams and visions come to pass. It's like we do it better together than we do it alone. So why not do it together? There's no professional recovering addict. I mean, there's recovering addicts that have professions, but hopefully they leave them at the door, right? <laughs> and there's nothing worse than having, you know, someone with a PhD and, and they come into the meeting and they introduce themselves, Dr. So-and-so, 
why is that even necessary? <laughs> right, right. If this is the fellowship that allowed you to even get your stuff together enough to even go get an education. Why is it necessary to introduce yourself that way? Right. And you got some people that are politicians, right? They're into politics and they're professional politicians and they want to make sure right before they share, they let you know, you know, I'm with such and such a party and I do such and such a thing, or I'm, you know, going to Washington to do Washington, D.C. to be a part of this or be a part of that. And I'm thinking to myself, why is any of that important? Why is that important? We can see your success. We can see it. You're glowing. We can see it. You don't, you don't, that's not important in the meeting. That That is not important. In the fellowship, we find all sorts of beautiful individuals that have attained wonderful, wonderful dreams, lost dreams awaken and new possibilities arise. I'm telling you every time I think about this educational journey I'm on and it is a journey right now it's it's not easy right every time I think about this educational journey I'm on I think about all of the people in my life in the fellowship that have gone before me and have been able to attain the same thing that I'm shooting for right now and I tell myself they could do it (laughs) I know that I can do it And it encourages me. I'm inspired, right? I'm inspired by their success. But you best believe when they come into a meeting, they don't come in with name tags showing and uh, passing out business. They don't don't do that. They keep it 100% simple. And we all got the same last name. My name is so-and-so and I'm an addict. That's it. I bet you could sponsor someone. I bet you could. The person out there listening today that is telling themselves, I'll never be able to be a sponsor like that. I bet you could actually sponsor. I bet you could. I bet that you could. And if you can't sponsor, I bet that you can go to your home group meeting or to any meeting and you can see that there's a need for help in a certain area and make yourself available. I mean, it doesn't take a PhD to do a reading. It doesn't. It doesn't take a PhD to chair a meeting. It doesn't take a PhD, actually, (laughs) to sponsor someone. And in this day and age, when peer support is the language of the day in this recovery world, where lived experience is the language, the fad of the day in this recovery world, peer-to-peer support, there's more value in this world today, secularly speaking, there's more value being placed on things that we have always done in Narcotics Anonymous. We have always believed that the therapeutic value of one addict helping another is without parallel. It's just now, secularly, the governments are realizing people with lived experience are best able to help other people that have similar experience, so why not hire them to do the job? Oh, let's throw them a few classes and a certificate, but why not let them do it? They're the experts at it. We've been doing this all along. The certificate is a beautiful thing if you can get it. Go for it. But here in Narcotics Anonymous, even if you don't have it, you're already useful because you add more to the we of the program. 
and we learn how to share in a in a way carrying the message of in a in a way that is helpful and anyone can do it they told me the person with two days clean can help the person with one day clean at any point in time there's a lot of work to do in this fellowship at any point in time in a spirit of goodwill i invite you if that's what you need is an invitation I invite you to roll your sleeves up, get in where you fit in, and help us carry this message to the still suffering addict. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. Talk to you soon.